Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin, and welcome back to another episode of Cigar Review. And today, I get to review a cigar I want to review, but nobody else want to see. Yep, this is the Room 101 Johnny Tobacco Knot Toro. Here we go. So, Room 101 had this uh, cigar back in 2015, and you know they updated the design and everything, and that caught me. But I don't know, for some reason, every time I'm looking for it, I'm not getting it. I don't know why. I don't know why it took me so long to go get it. But like, I always got to get a box. But I have Eric keep telling me that, you know, nobody wants this. And I have a few people tell me that the cigar sucks. But until I smoke it, I don't know. So, <clears throat> got this for myself. This is a Toro 6x52, uh, $9.99 cigar. All right, uh, the wrapper is Ecuadorian Connecticut Sea Shade Grown, and the binder is Mexican San Andreas, I believe, and the filler is Nicaraguan. Okay, so <clears throat> could this fly me to the moon? We'll find out, right? I I like the design. I don't know why this one doesn't have that outer typical Room One Hundred One Special Edition kind of wrapper thing. So I probably if I like this, I'm buying the box. You try to stop me, okay? I love the gimmicky stuff, and this thing is gimmick to the max. So, do not challenge me to this. All right, here we go. Floral cedar. Floral cedar. Floral cedar. Ooh, kind of squishy where I cut down. That's not good. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. It's like barnyard earthy with some wood shavings for the cold draw. A little bit of pepper too. All right, let's light this up. The draw is not bad. $10 cigar, come on. Give me $10. All I'm asking is $10. Give me a reason to buy. Dry is good. What is that taste? Pepper? Spice. Everything just get covered by spice. I I, I can't even pick up anything. Huh? There's a little bit woodsy tone, and they still have that um that barnyardness. All right. 
I can't tell what that is. It's it's there's something, but you just can't tell what that is. Cause everything just get wiped out by black pepper. I can't tell what the hell. Yeah, everything gets wiped out by this black pepper or peppery ish flavor. All right, smoke one third. I'm gonna force this thing to take me to the moon right now, and I'll be right back. Come on, Johnny. Let's go. All right, first third. I'm gonna tap the ash off. So it got a little bit better, like that much better. It tastes like graham cracker, a little bit sweet. A little bit of creaminess and cedar. It, 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 it took a while to get there. It literally started to have good flavor at the end of first stir. It's actually not bad. First stir, a lot of pepper in the beginning, you can't taste anything. And then you get like a majority of muted taste. There's like no taste. All right. And once you get through that no taste, now the retro hill brings you that sweetness of graham cracker of uh, cedar, of some creaminess. And some sort of like, uh, I want to call it barnyard, but it's not, it's just stink. So, yeah. So I'm gonna smoke through a second there. Uh, right now I'm very close because I'm trying to see if there's anything worth smoking at all. So second day will be really quick. I just the end of this man and we'll come back and we'll talk about it a bit. All right, so we're back. Uh, I passed a little bit through the second third to see if there is anything different. It got a little bit sharper, more sour, but it didn't get any better notes. He didn't. So here's the band. Very um, basic yet works band. Literally, I bought this one because of the band, right? The box design, the band, and the band is so basic. It kind of works. I don't know why. So, but yeah, it got sharper. It got more sour, but it didn't get better. It didn't get sweeter. I, in fact, it got less sweet because of sour. So I don't know. Tastes almost like starch. It tastes like bread. It's not a ten dollar cigar. It doesn't taste like a ten dollar cigar. But let me finish up, and we'll talk about the last pen and the price I'm giving this, and whether or not I should buy a box. All right, finished up. So, how do I describe the last there? Stale. Stale is the way I can describe it. It tastes like a stale cigar. Not very good, um, but again, I get it for the band. So here's the band. Room 101. They, all they need is this, this logo right here. I think this logo is well done. So I, I really like this logo. I don't know. Just me. I really like it. But yeah, fortunately, unfortunately, the cigar is uh, not very good. So $10 cigar, I give it. Man, I really don't want to go. It's a six dollar cigar. <laughs> it's a six dollar cigar, if not lower. I think it's, it's a six dollar cigar, and only reason you'll buy it is because you want to collect this. That's it. That will be only reason you want to collect that box, that nice looking box, and you want to collect one of these things and dream about going to the moon and never reach it. Never reach it. Not even close. This is me. This cigar's level of taste is like staring at the moon from Earth. But the highest you ever got was jump. Yep, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, like a lot of other review you might have seen for this particular cigar, it's not a very interesting cigar. It's, um, it's a smokable cigar, but there's plenty of other cigar at that range you can smoke, give you the same, if not better uh, experience. So unfortunately, 
I mean, I mean, I'm saying unfortunately, but it's like expected. It's like Room 101 cigar. Majority of them taste like bundles. And this is not an exception. It tastes like a bundle, $6, $7 cigar, you know, but it's $10. And I'm pretty sure a lot of it has to do with the decoration and stuff like that. But still, it's a, it's a gimmicky cigar. Uh, it's not... It's not a cigar that you'll be smoking every day. So... <laughs> so yeah, that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think about this cigar. I mean, did you also buy it because of the ban? Or did you buy it because you actually think it's good? I want to know if anybody else out there actually think the cigar is good. Because I need to know what part of this is good. What part of it is good. It got better, but it wasn't good, you know. I'm staring at the band, and like asking Johnny, "Why do you do this to me, Johnny? Why do you do this to me, Johnny?" But yeah, so yeah, that's it for this particular review, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.